Hello, my name is Paul and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you in a very simple way how you can automatically rename your deals. This is a question I get from clients all the time, is how can I change the automatic name that gets applied to a deal? So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. If you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a look in the description below for details of my consulting service if you need help with pipe drive setup, training and automation uh, in the future. So let's have a look at this uh, this deal title situation. So to just give you a bit of background, let's just create a new deal quickly and let's just explain what's going on. So if I create a new deal, I'm just going to put in my name here. Um, you can see it automatically names the deal just the name of the company here, which is this field, and then just the word deal. Uh, if I don't have a company, it just names it the person's name and then the word deal. Now I can manually type in whatever I want. I could do pipe pool miners, you know, um, pipe drive consulting. I can I can manually override it. But what a lot of people want to do is have uh, sort of a naming convention automatically applied to this. So while we can't change the setting of that field, we can use some automation to fix this. So let's close that. So. Let me go into my workflow automation settings. So this will require you to have an advanced plan or higher. Unfortunately, if you're on Essential, you're not going to have access to this because you do need the automation features that are built into Pipedrive. So I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm just going to call it new deal. A little arrow here and then rename deal. This is a naming convention that I've used in my automation just to kind of show what's the trigger and then the action that I'm uh, applying here. Uh, so let's start this now. So first thing I need to do is set a trigger. This is the event that Pipedrive is kind of waiting for before it applies the following actions. So we're, we're, it's, a, it's a deal trigger, and it's simply when a deal is created. Now I could trigger this when the deal is updated. For example, maybe when a custom field is updated. I've actually done this with clients in the past. There's maybe like an address field for like a property developer. When that address field is filled out, rename the deal with the address. That's actually a very common one that I've done with clients in the past. I'm just gonna do when a deal is created. I could apply some conditions here if I only want this to run on certain pipelines or in certain scenarios. Uh, to keep things simple, I'm just going to leave the conditions blank. And so now I'm going to set up my action, which is to update the deal. Now it's going to ask me which deal do I want to update, and the only option is actually the deal from the trigger, so that's easy. I'm going to have to click here to add more fields, and these are all the potential things about my deal that I can update. So I want to update my title. So I'm going to add that field in. And now if I type a open square bracket, these are all the different kind of placeholders or variables, custom fields that I can apply. So it's even got some of my custom fields here like revenue model, deal type, it's got organization name, contact name, and so on. So what I might do is let's do organization name. I think I'll then do a little dash and then we'll do person name. And then I want this to have like a unique identifier. I could use an address or something. There's even things like creation date, like there's some date fields, uh, date created. I'm going to do deal ID because each deal has a unique number and I want to see that in the title. So I'm going to put that in. So I'm going to apply that. Actually, let me tweak that slightly. Let me put in a little hashtag thing like that. Okay. What I need to do before I turn this on is quickly, I'm going to trigger this by any person, not just me. I want anyone that creates a deal to have this automation applied. And I'm going to make my automation active so we can save that now. So last thing to do is to give this a little test. So let's create a new deal, same as before, pool miners. Now I can actually put that text in, that's fine. I don't have to override that, I don't have to delete it. It will just get renamed instantly. So if you actually watch on the left here, the deal's gonna get created, it should then get renamed very quickly. So keep an eye out, ready, three, two, one. Thomas Big View, and there it did, it renamed straight away. So you can see it automatically applied the company name, the person, and then this number, which is the ID for the deal up here. So there you have it. Using automation, very simple and easy way that you can automatically uh, apply a naming convention to your deals to make them just more meaningful rather than just Tom's big company deal. Uh, it's just going to make searching for your deals a lot, lot easier. As I said, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.